What about your corporate communications? Another trend we've seen is that the attention that users are now giving to Teams and the time they're spending in Teams um, has mean that corporate communications has been become even more challenging. And I think it's fair to say Teams and other tools like Slack, et cetera, are not built for that top-down, all of organisation uh, communications and messaging and engagement. They're specifically built to create groups of people to come together and, and do stuff. And in many ways, they create a whole bunch of new silos. So how can you start to uh, cut through that, still get your corporate message out there and leverage the fact they're in teams as opposed to trying to grab their attention back from it? So we'll show you some stuff. Um, so what we've got here is our Lifetiles Reach platform. Now this is a really uh, lightweight, cloud-based corporate communications tool. It can be integrated into your intranet as well. But what we're dealing with here is we've got this as a pinned app in the sidebar of Microsoft Teams. And you'll see here I'm getting all sorts of content coming in that you would expect on a sort of traditional corporate communications page. Interesting enough, I'm getting some information here coming from an external systems, which has been summarised by an algorithm. It's bringing together five or six different sources around these topics in, in COVID-19 and automatically publishing that uh, for users to, to keep up to date. I've got alerting here, so I can see our office reopening update is being uh, flagged as an alert, which means it notifies everyone and sticks at the top. You can include polls into, into your content. You can include um, acknowledgement of, of reading the articles, all sorts of stuff. And the beauty about this is not only for the users to be able to access this information, but also for the creators, the corporate communicators, the people responsible for communicating out to your organisation. So think of yourself in a meeting, your CEO has just said, we need to get this update out to our staff now. That meeting was held in Teams. You've ended your Teams meeting. One click away, you're into the Lifetiles Reach application, and then you can click and you're into the content authoring experience if you have access for it. Anything below the line is information we've previously published. Anything above the line is still in draft. So within Teams here, I'm creating in a very simple uh, medium.com style, really, um, way of communicating with our organisation. I've got all of the um, let's see, demo an article. I've got all of the things you would expect uh, within a corporate communications tool. I've got my ability to do my my content. I've got my ability to to format that, add tables, add images, add videos. I can do multilingual if I wish to. I can select keywords to match this to. For example, we could say this is relevant to Berlin, for argument's sake. I can ask for that reader confirmation that I mentioned before. Likes and comments can be turned on and off. Uh, I've got version control and I can set whether this is alert, alerting or not. And once I've done that, I can you know, submit for approval if that's the only rights I have, or I can choose to publish it. And then that's going to go, it's going to be accessible from the Teams app, both within the Teams client, which I'm in now, but also the mobile client. There's also a dedicated mobile experience. So if you have, uh, members of your employee base who aren't licensed for Office 365, perhaps they're frontline workers, kiosk workers, um, that type of type of user, they can also be getting this central source of information. So your Teams user getting in with Teams, the rest of your organisation can be getting it through, through the dedicated mobile experience. And once we're in there, I'll just go back in and you'll see that article's um, now available. And I've just had a notification on my watch that, that that's been published and away you go. And you'll see there, there's my demo article. So once again, how do we get to our users within teams where they're doing their work now, where they're having their meetings, they're collaborating within their smaller teams, how can we reach them? Hence why, why we call it Lifetime's Reach. So we're now being able to communicate with our people. We, we can get to them um, and we can make sure they're, they're across and there. It comes in my notifications just there. 